All right. Uh, I've looked uh, a lot at the Tao Te Ching and sort of explicated, you know, some of those verses. And most likely, <clears throat> your um, your um, uh, paper one question on Taoism will be uh, a quote from the Tao Te Ching, and then you unpack that quote with your knowledge of um, the uh, the three the three question sheet. It's possible you might have. Um, uh, uh, a quote from Zhuangzi, which is that you know Taoism 2.0 from the from the Warring States period, the Book of Zhuangzi. Zhuangzi is both the guy and the, the eponymous name of the book. Um, and by and if you do, it'll probably be uh, from this uh, part. And this is the most famous uh, example of Zhuangzi. Uh, it's called the Empty Boat, and it's just really great wisdom in general. Uh, I've given you a copy uh, of it, uh, but it says, um, "He who rules men in confusion." No, I'm sorry. He who rules men lives in confusion. He who is ruled by men lives in sorrow. Tao therefore desired neither to influence others nor to be influenced by them. The way to get clear of confusion and free of sorrow is to live with Tao in the land of the great void. And this is the key part here. If a man is crossing a river and an empty boat collides with his own skiff, even though he be a bad-tempered man, he will not become very angry. But if he sees a man in the boat, uh, he will shout at him to steer clear. If the shout is not heard, he will shout again and yet again and begin cursing. And all because there is somebody in the boat. Yet if the boat were empty, he would not be shouting and not angry. It's this bad-tempered man, just by virtue of seeing this person, uh, he's offended by him. But if the boat's empty, he's not that angry. So, he continues, If you can empty your own boat, crossing the river of the world, no one will oppose you. No one will seek to harm you. The straight tree is the first to be cut down. The spring of clear water is the first to be drained dry. If you wish to improve your wisdom and shame the ignorant, to cultivate your character and outshine others, a light will shine around you as if you had swallowed the sun and moon. You will not avoid calamity. A wise man has said, he who is content with himself has done a worthless work. Achievement is the beginning of failure. Fame is the beginning of disgrace. Who can free himself from achievement and from fame, descend and be lost amid the masses of men? He will flow like Tao unseen. He will go about life itself with no name and no home. Simple is he, without distinction. To all appearances, he is a fool. His steps leave no trace. He has no power. He achieves nothing, has no reputation. Since he judges no one, no one judges him. Such is the perfect man. His boat is empty. So, when I when I read this before in class, I had a student who you say, you know, you know, you know, be free from achievement, uh, be free of fame, be nobody. He was like, is that good? Yes, Zhuang is saying that's very good. Uh, remember, this is Taoism 2.0, uh, late in the Warring States States period, and uh, Zhuangs and Lides are much more cynical, even nihilistic than um, uh, than uh, Lauds was when he wrote the Tao Te Ching. Um, and uh, the Tao Te Ching is not incompatible with, you know, a Taoist master is not incompatible with, with being part of government and society. In fact, they would make the perfect ruler. But by the time of Zhuang's, um, Taoism pretty much advocated, you know, dropping out, uh, like hippies in the 1960s, dropping out of society. The society was unfixable. It was an attempt by men to improve on nature um, and of course, that just you know uh, rejected the Tao and caused chaos. So, saying you know, keep your head below the radar, so to speak. That's the that's the point of the empty boat. Uh, his steps leave no trace, uh, meaning um, uh, he leaves he, he he does not disturb the, the the world in a way that will bring uh, uh, unpleasantness upon himself. And that is the wisdom of Zhuangzi.